What's up everyone? It's been a while since I did a Ghost Adventures episode review, but hey, they're back with the new season and here I am. And this season of Ghost Adventures is focused on famous serial killers. And in this episode, the focus is on H.H. Holmes. Now, if you haven't heard of H.H. Holmes, he was well known for being a doctor. Well, he was a doctor, a con artist, scammer, and murderer. And during his time of doing dirt, he supposedly murdered over 200 people. Most people claim that he was America's first ever serial killer. And in this investigation, it took place in Irvington, Indiana. And in this house, H.H. Holmes supposedly murdered a little boy on the property. And the episode starts off with Zach Bagans interviewing this woman who lives there. And let me just say <laughs> that this whole interview was kind of weird and it threw me off. I don't know what was wrong with her, but something was off. And I mean no disrespect by that. But they have a few artifacts that could be from the victims. They have some leftover hair, and they also have some surgical tools that was used by H.H. H. Holmes. They also brought back the great-great-grandson of H.H. H. Holmes. They used him as a trigger person to get EVPs. And they got a couple of EVPs, and the grandson was actually, you know, feeling like he was having a heart attack he couldn't keep his balance and he was having severe chest pains so i'm glad nothing didn't happen to him but he was definitely looking like something was going on with him so they begin the lockdown and right away something begins to attack zach bagans emotionally and he's saying that he's filled with rage and he's yelling at all the crew members and billy was also affected later on in the episode zach bagans was trying to communicate with somebody um some kind of spirit or whatever and he asks how are you trying to kill billy and the response was cough and prior to the question billy was already coughing heavily so you know i thought that was strange and aaron supposedly seen an apparition and of course you know how aaron spazzed out <laughs> but overall i was very entertained by this episode it was a great historical backstory for all the wrong reasons but i also like how they really tried to help the victims be at ease um billy and jay they did a little seance and they prayed over everyone and just you know had a good word before they left the property so i i respect that i'm definitely looking forward to next week's episode of ghost adventures and let me just say this and i'm gonna end it on this note ghost adventures is the best paranormal show out there and i don't even think it's really close and i'm curious to see what ghost nation is gonna be like but right now ghost adventures is in the forefront of being the best paranormal show with that being said, make sure you let me know down below of your overall thoughts about this episode. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, especially if you love anything paranormal. Be safe. Peace.